How do you feel when I say Common Core Math? For the vast majority of parents, these three simple words cause a lot of upset, stress, and eye rolling. Yes, I'm talking to you. This isn't how we did math when I was a kid and I turned out just fine. Why can't we just teach the standard algorithm? It worked for me. I hear you, trust me. Looking through a first grade math textbook and trying to solve a seemingly easy equation using a method that is foreign to you can be maddening. The truth is, you're right. There are simpler ways of doing math. But I'm willing to bet that if you were a person that was taught timed math tests, basic math facts, and how to mimic the steps to solve a problem, you probably were not taught conceptual mathematical understanding at the same time. Common Core Math is not about making math harder for your kids or for you. It's about showing them multiple strategies to solve the same types of problems so that they can choose a strategy that works for them and the way their mind works. It's why you keep hearing about number bonds, friendly numbers, and tape diagrams. It's about giving kids an opportunity to share their mathematical reasoning skills so that you believe they truly understand what's being asked of them. Giving them lots of practice with various strategies gives them the confidence they need to prove that they know they have the correct answer beyond any doubt. Today's video is going to be the start of a new series on my channel, Fear the Common Core No More. Each week, I'll be sharing different math strategies that are found in many early elementary Common Core math textbooks. That way, you'll finally know how to support your child when they're doing their homework or when they come home frustrated from school. Before we get started, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell so that you never miss a new upload. Let's go! Today we'll be talking about the dreaded missing add-end equations. Now, if you're not up to speed on your math vocabulary, add-ends are the numbers that you add together to get the sum. At the end of kindergarten and well into first grade, missing add-end equations are introduced to students. So basically you're starting with a given add-end and then you're adding a missing add-end and you're given the sum at the end. So the students have to figure out what part of that equation is missing. I'm sure seeing these types of equations in workbooks or in homework assignments makes parents want to pull their hair out because they know how they would solve the problem but they're listening to their child tell them that there's another way to solve the problem that they learned in class. Here are three potential strategies that your child might have learned using Common Core Math to solve missing added equations.
Remember, those are only three strategies that they might have learned, and there are multiple ways to solve missing ad equations. That's all I've got for you today, but I sure hope you come back and see me for another episode of Fear the Common Core No More. If you liked this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell, and share it with a friend who might find it helpful, useful, or interesting. If you want to keep in touch, you can find me on social media at Walk Away From The Workbook on Instagram and Facebook, or you can email me directly at walkawayfromtheworkbook at gmail.com. Until next time, have fun learning with your little ones. Bye!